Let's get some analysis on this. Joining me now for more uh, from London is Hilal Elvar. She is a former UN Special Rapporteur on the right to food. Hilal, good to have you on the show. Um, as you saw in uh, Melinda's report, you know, uh, tens of millions of people around the world uh, do not know where their next, next meal is going to be coming from. I mean, the magnitude of the suffering uh, is beyond alarming. Yes, uh, you are absolutely right. Uh, but this is not only last few months, last two, three years, the situation was exactly like that. And FAO and World Food Program is constantly bringing the reports because of this reason, actually, uh, uh, World Food Program got the Nobel Prize because pushing countries much more visible uh, uh, situation that what's happening in the world. We are coming closer to famine, which is since World War II, there, there was no kind of multiple famine threat around the world. That was important, but not just today, but the last two, three years, we are in the same situation. Um, there are several factors uh, behind sort of uh, this acute food insecurity, uh, and Melinda talked about it in her package, whether it's uh, COVID-19 or, 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 or violence. But talk to us about why the situation is likely to get worse. Well, first of all, uh, this all uh, this reasoning, which we talk about either conflict or climate change, extreme weather events, or now COVID-19. So combination of this three, four, problems and political problems, especially uh, top of it, makes the situation really not solvable easily. And COVID-19 actually did not directly affect this uh, major countries, which is we talk about the first three, Yemen, South Sudan, and Northern Nigeria, but the economic conditions, which is indirect factors of COVID-19 is becoming uh, very serious. And uh, according to World Food Program, the uh, threat of uh, famine will be doubled in 2021. Okay, I understand that stopping millions of dying uh, as a result of starvation is not an easy problem to solve. But uh, in your opinion, uh, where, what are the urgent priorities? But urgent priorities, of course, right now, uh, to go before the famine comes. This report clearly makes the warning. This doesn't mean that they are going to be tomorrow in famine, but the very possibility that will reach the famine level, which is very difficult when, when it comes to that level. That's why it's very important right now, giving the old funding, this uh, first three countries and also 20 of them, which is 5.5 uh, billion, compared to right now uh, the uh, a big kind of uh, accumulation of the uh, uh, money by few uh, billionaires and trillionaires, I think this is not a very difficult thing to solve this immediate problem. But also it's a long-term program that we will not be able to again come back a uh, famine or starvation situation. The short-term and long-term issues, we know what to do, but now there is a lack of funding, funding. And in some areas like Yemen, it's uh, difficult because of the geopolitical reason. Uh, logis logistical issues are also problematic. Well, I hope that we can certainly get something going because millions of lives uh, are at risk. All right, Hidal Elvar, thank you very much for joining us here on the News Hour. I do appreciate it.